lovelies and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a little house tour for St. Patrick's Day. Um, am I Irish? No. <laughs> Will I find any excuse to decorate the house? Absolutely. So uh, yes, this is uh, what I did for St. Patrick's Day. I only had two bags, like two little Walmart bags full of St. Patrick's Day themed stuff to decorate with. So I kind of had to use some of my Christmas decor and even some Halloween decorations to kind of spread it out throughout this uh room so anyways if you want to see what i did just keep on watching but before we begin let me remind you that subscribing is 100 percent free so please click that subscribe button and while you're at it go ahead and click that notification bell so that you're notified every time that i post i post every single week sometimes multiple times a week so trust me you don't want to miss out Alrighty, with that being said let's move on to the house tour all right, so like always, I always have a little screensaver for the TV, and it of course has the holiday right on there. Happy St. Patrick's Day. And then I have my little fireplace, and like I said, I kept it pretty simple because I, I kind of had to, <laughs> but uh, I have my little candles, which I have given up on completely. And I mean, if you've seen my previous Decorate With Me's, then you know my rant about those these little candles but anyways I just stuck some of these flowers which I got from Dollar Tree and they actually have gold coins in them so that was pretty cool and I have some shamrocks are they shamrocks or four leaf clovers I don't even know but anyways but uh, I have a gold garland going across and this is also from Dollar Tree a couple of years ago and I also have some gold coins spread out and I have my candle right there with this. I was trying to cover up the little uh, snowflake and my fairy lights, of course. So yeah, I just copied everything from one side to the other so everything looks balanced. And that's what I have for this part. And let's move over to the couch real quick. Um, I didn't have many pillows, but I reused my green pillows. Um, the light one was from uh, Halloween and Christmas time, I believe, and the dark green, it's like an emerald green, that is from Christmas time. I just had enough for just three on each end, like that. And then <laughs> each holiday, I like to have a matching uh, throw blanket, but uh, I don't have one for St. Patrick's Day, so this had to do. This was like the only one that would go. Everything else was like pink and uh, girly, so this was it. <laughs> And right above, I have my little gold um, painting or artwork. This is far too small for the wall, but it went with the decor a lot better than my what I had originally. If you've seen my previous house tours, then you know. But uh, yeah, so it kind of goes with, you know, all the rest of the decor, the gold, you know. And then for my coffee table, I have my little octopus leg looking wooden dome, glass dome. And uh, inside I have, this is actually for Easter decor, this little uh, shimmery iridescent stuff. And then that is my cauldron from Halloween, <laughs> but it looked like, you know, a pot of gold. So I added some of these gold coins and there you have my little pot of gold. And I thought that was really cute. I originally had that candle in here, but this, I just felt looked cuter. So yeah, and I wanted to put that cauldron up there, but I was scared that it would get knocked over and break. So that's why I kept it safely in here. Anyways, let's move on. So now we have the tree. And uh, again, it has like my Christmas uh, snowflake tree skirt, but you know, we're just gonna ignore that for now. And I just pretty much used all of the green and gold ornaments I have. And I really like that I used like a light green and a dark green. I just love that combo. I don't know, it looks very pretty. And I didn't have a tree topper. So I had, I just had these uh, little tree sticks and had them spreading out at the top. And I tried to cover up that, you know, that whole mess down there with a, a, a clover. Oh my gosh, words. <sighs> Anyways, so yes, that is my little tree. And the lights are rainbow colored. So isn't that perfect? And then over here, we have the table setting and my tiered tray. So for the table setting, I just had, um, like I didn't have a table runner, so I kind of, made one, kind of, with a trail of little 
shamrocks and gold coins and little gold tea lights just going all the way through and I even have them going onto the plate just to make the table look a little bit longer and then on either side I have these uh, beer beer mugs <laughs> and um, do I ever drink beer out of these no but I use them for decor you know uh, and I have some of these St. Patrick's Day flowers coming out with some shamrocks and gold coins. And I just put some white tissue so that they didn't all sink to the bottom. And I have the same thing on this side. And then we have the tear tray in the middle with more of those gold uh, twigs coming out or sticks. And we have my Bath and Body Works candle, which actually says luck, which I thought was perfect. Luck of the Irish. And then I have my little tiny espresso mugs with some gold coins coming out. And uh, this um, candle, which I've been using since Halloween, I just changed the ribbon so it kind of matches. And back there I have two more beer mugs and they actually have like Marine Corps emblems on them so I just covered it up temporarily with some four leaf clovers or three leaf clovers actually. And I have more of those gold picks coming out with some white tissue holding them up. And here I have my gold swan which I've been using nonstop. And let's go to the other side. So here is the other side. I have drink and Oh no, this came off. Okay, well, we'll fix that. And slurp. And that is my little tear tray. So that is my St. Patrick's Day table setting. Let's move on to the little table in the back. And I again have that gold garland and some more gold coins and shamrocks. And then I have some gold and green ornaments in my apothecary jars. And of course, my fairy light. Very simple, but still pretty. You still get the feel of St. Patrick's Day. And then here, I have my St. Patrick's Day wreath, and of course, my light curtain. So I'll give you a quick look of my view. Alrighty, you guys, so that was it for my St. Patrick's Day house tour. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys do for St. Patrick's Day. Do you go out with your friends? Do you stay home and decorate like me? Let me know down in the comment section below. Other than that, please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Happy St. Patrick's Day!